Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Overnight, the global markets were relatively mixed as investors trade cautiously ahead of the US inflation figures or the US CPI data, which is scheduled later Wednesday. The US CPI data would provide some insight into the current level of inflation, while the core US CPI data would indicate if inflation has peaked or not. As I mentioned, the data will be released later today, with a forecast expecting an annual reading around 8.8% versus 86 reported for May. Although we have seen a modest bounce from the Australian dollar, I still feel from a broader aspect that we could see one more down test and that is towards the region of 66, 60, 65 as a potential target, with immediate support seen minor at 67.15. With that being said, though, what would save the downside challenge is a break above this level of 67, 65, 75, as it is anticipated may reinstate the bullish scenario back towards 68.45 to 68.90. So do keep an eye at this level, which is around 67, 65, 75, in case we do see a break. Other than that, with the technicals still somewhat negative, overall though, I feel we could eventually see a possible slide, but bulls most probably be preparing for the challenge, as I mentioned from 66, 60, 65. The down test overnight for Euro has left a long-legged doji, some indecisiveness in if the market wouldn't to go beneath parity. In light of the pattern, we are extremely oversold, with a little bit of divergence there to the bullish case, may eventually see a recovery. That is back towards the region of 10055 as minor, and further to 101340 area, and reassess from there. The US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, ended flat in the New York session around 10802. Failing to get any bullish momentum for the euro, then the broader aspect is that we will be possibly heading towards this key level of 99.50. And no doubt from there, I do anticipate a potential bounce due to the fact that all the time zones are extremely oversold and it does warrant at least a short term recovery. The dollar yen hit the highs around 1.37 on Tuesday and backed away slightly from the resistance of 137.65.85 area. However, not quite enough, I believe, at present to support a bear case. And we may see another challenge towards that top side with a broader aspect, maybe even reaching 139.15.35. However, for myself, I'm going to sit out and remain neutral for the moment and wait for better opportunities when the technicals do support a potential trade, where at the moment they're still a little bit indecisive. Sterling headed lower overnight and briefly touched towards that bottom side of the support area around 116.118. And from there, it's posted, as you can see, a somewhat weak, either close to a dra dragonfly doji or hammer, but nevertheless, still relatively to the, the bullish family of candles. Therefore, may see a slight edge towards the top side of this range here at the moment, seen roughly around 119.30. A break there should give further encouragement to the upside and look towards 119.75.85 and reassess. Until we do get the break of 119.30, still be on your guard in case we see that challenge back towards the 118 or even lower down towards this bottom side of the range from a broader aspect which is seen roughly around 116.70.95. The market also produced a slightly firmer candlestick close to a hammer and therefore the rebound from the bottom side of its range here. If we just bring this down slightly, you can see the market found support just around that 153.75, 154. If this market can display further upside momentum given from this candlestick along with the bullish divergence then I feel that we may be heading back towards the top side here roughly around 155.50 to 156.35. A weaker display again from the gold or spot gold 
as the market is tumbling closer towards this bottom side of this range of 1,709 to 11. And with the broader aspect still holding where the base is at 1,686 to 91. If this pattern does continue, I do anticipate a rebound from this area. As recently seen, we did get from the past challenges, a Dragonfly Doji and also a Hammer and may again see a whip sword price action heading for, for away from this area if challenged so do be on your guard if you're playing from the short side even though the bears are still controlling that we could see a bounce overnight oil plunged eight percent and from the downside fall that it from the challenge to the downside is the market reached its objective which was 92 2040 that leaves me neutral due to the heaviness of the market's price action and along with that, reaching my objective, I'd like to see how the market plays now due to this bottom side of the range has been respected in the past, going back to at least March this year. And therefore, I feel that from this bottom side here, could see a bounce easily back towards 99. But as I mentioned, I'd rather sit out for the moment, remain neutral in case we do see a bounce. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Inch Day report. And I hope you enjoy the great start to the day.